Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to be talking about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It is a 1988 released film directed by, I'm going to mispronounce this, the Chiodo Brothers. Sorry, I can never pronounce anything. Anyways, the movie opens with a spaceship that looks like a carnival crashing near a small town, and we then learn per the misfortune of the elderly and possibly a dog that what has landed is the killer clowns and they're from outer space. They say the name of the movie in the movie. Anyways, as this is a horror movie from the eighties, we then follow two younger adults trying to convince everyone around them of the danger. And of course nobody listens and they don't feel that anything is super serious. So, uh, the cotton candy covered body count will just keep rising as the informed try to save themselves and the ones they love from being captured and, uh, placed on the carnival spaceship. So what did I like about this movie? I loved the character design of the clowns. I felt like it was very unique the way they looked. They weren't completely scary. They weren't like Pennywise scary or Ronald McDonald scary. He's scary. I don't care who you are. He's scary. But they also weren't completely docile looking either. They weren't like a clown you would want to approach. Although that's, that's a good point. Like what clown do you really want to approach? I don't really like clowns that much. I'm not scared of them, but I'm just, I'm wary. I won't say I don't like them. I'm wary off topic. Uh, another like of mine was the clown's weapon of choice from the cotton candy traps to sticking people in balloons to the popcorn being shot. I thought they were really neat and I liked that it was a lot of carnival elements and it really went together. I'm kind of curious what the home planet of the killer clowns looked like if they had all this crap like what the other beings on the planet would be. Like, if the killer clowns were the humans, what would be the aliens, maybe? Food for thought. I'm, I don't even know if they've made other movies. I should probably look into that. Um, another like of mine is that there is a very specific way that you have to dispatch the killer clowns. And um, it reminded me a lot of, like, a carnival or an arcade game. It was just, it was neat. It was really interesting to see it happen. It was cool. I liked it. So then we'll go to the dislikes. Um, I mean, it does, it's a theme in a lot of movies, but it was how the townsfolk were so resistant to listening to the kids and then eventually like a policeman that don't go near the clowns. The clowns are trying to kill you. And they're like, ha ha ha. No. And then they're doing things that are completely not possible in this realm like a shadow puppet that's independently moving with the clown's fingers not making the shapes. And they're like, no, no, it's cool. He's a clown. Like they, they don't even remotely look like people in costumes, like a clown dressed up as a clown wearing face paint. They, they look like aliens. People wake up. But I mean, that's why you're all dead. That's why you all got cotton candy cocooned. That's hard to say. But another dislike of mine in the final battle, it doesn't give anything away, but they're cornering the humans and they all have bats. And I was kind of like, that's a really weak weapon choice. Like they're in your shuttle, they're in your house and you're going to come at them with bats. When you have guns that shoot cotton candy and like kill them essentially, or you can trap them in a balloon. No, you're going to you're going to hit them with a bat and it's not even like a scary bat with nails in it. It's just like the clown bat. I don't, I don't actually know what that means, but they're, they're holding them. So maybe it is a clown bat. I don't know. But I was kind of like, that's, uh, that's what you pick. That's kind of weak. Could have picked something cooler. You could have had, um, like maybe incorporate like a carnival game into it or like a dunk tank, like dunk them into something. I don't know. I wonder if that's been done. But anyways, I felt like 
this movie 100% deserves its cult status. It is super enjoyable. It is super ridiculous. I really liked it. Um, there's a really good boxing scene in it. That's hilarious. Everything's meant to be like really kitschy. And I like me some kitsch. So I was really, really happy with it. I remember watching this like as a teenager and then not really watching it until recently again. And it's still super entertaining. I didn't feel like it lacked anything. I don't feel like it lost anything. Solid movie. It's a silly time. You know what you're in for. I also feel like this is a really good movie to watch with someone that's not really into horror because it's not very gory and it's not very gross. There's, yeah, there's some, ah, scary moments, but it's funny. It has dark humor in it. It has a lot of slapstick in it. So, you know, the, the person that's not like a, a gore hound would have a good time watching it with you. It's a good movie all around. I give it a three out of five. Um, I do have a physical copy of this. I got it at my local movie store, one of the few that are remaining, but it is available to buy or stream on Amazon and eBay and probably a couple other sites that are still remaining out there. Have you seen this movie? Leave me some comments. What did you think? What was your favorite, you know, little gag in it? Be it the pies or the, the flower that squirts water. Leave me your thoughts. Um, if you did like the video, please leave, leave me a like. Um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you. You can tap the bell for all notifications. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And I think that's my whole spiel. But go check this movie out and have a clowny good time, I guess.